Welcome to the Trading Bell Show. I am glad today because we're going to be looking at the African context in general. Because in the house we have the new president of the African Securities Exchanges. That's another other than Tapelo Tseole, who is in the house today. He came in Nairobi and he's right here. But first, before we get into the conversation, let's take a look at his profile. Mr. Tseole is a seasoned financial markets expert with a cumulative experience of over 20 years, having worked for the Central Bank of Botswana and Botswana Stock Exchange. Mr. Tseole holds a Bachelor of Social Sciences, Single Major Economics, from the University of Botswana and a Master's of Commerce in Financial Markets from Rhodes University. Further, he holds a master's degree in business administration from the Graduate School of Business, University of Cape Town. He has extensive financial markets experience in capital markets, forex, structured products and the financial markets regulation. He was appointed CEO of the Botswana Stocks Exchange in January 2016, having been deputy CEO since February 2014. Mr. Siole is a firm believer in the development of the financial market in Botswana and Africa, as well as the importance to economic growth and stability, and has led initiatives to increase activity in the financial market in Botswana. Mr. Siole is the chairman of the committee of SEDAC Stock Exchanges and the president of the African Securities Exchange Association. Tapelo Siole, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. First shop. of all, I hope uh, I know you've been welcomed by earlier on, but Karibu Sana to Nairobi. Karibu just means welcome. <laughs> okay. So, what do I say? Asante? Yes, Asante. Asante, Asante. that's the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. First of all, I must start by saying congratulations for your you. election as the president of ASEA, that's the African Securities Exchange Association. And um, maybe just to help the viewers understand what is ASEA and what do they stand for, it would be nice for you to just elaborate for them. Yeah, ASEA is a, uh, it's a, an association of African uh, stock exchanges yeah. uh, who came together to form an association. Okay. Uh, there, there are 28 uh, members, stock okay. exchanges, mm -hmm. uh, with a size or market capitalization of about 2 trillion US dollars. Mm -hmm and about uh, 1,600 companies. Wow. Uh, this uh, association is in about, it covers about 54 countries, of course, but uh, some exchanges covers much more other countries than, 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 than the others, the regional blocks, associations. Excellent. Uh, it's basically, uh, it advocates for, for issues of store exchange. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it advocates for capacity building. Yeah. Uh, it advocates for for improvement in the general landscape of the African stock exchange markets. Great. Yeah. I think that's great enough. So what are some of the key initiatives as the president that you seek to push for your for this institution, if I may call it that? Yes, uh, the, the association has been in existence for some time now. And therefore, there are some of the running uh, initiatives that are currently taking place. Okay like the Africa Exchange Linkages Project, mm -hmm. which is actually connecting or linking all storage, uh, some storage exchanges in Africa. Okay. The aim is to have all storage exchanges to link, mm -hmm. but we have since linked seven storage exchanges into phase one. Okay. We're going to get into phase two. Mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, uh, as the new president, I need to ensure that I speed up the implementation of phase two storage exchanges okay. to increase the number from seven to maybe 15. Okay. Uh, we also need to look at the sustainability of the project. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things we also need to increase is also market development mm -hmm. to increase the liquidity, the, the depth and breadth of the, of the, the African markets. Yeah. Uh, get more investors into African markets, advocate and lobby for more policy changes uh, within African governments mm -hmm. and also within the landscape operations of uh, 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 African markets. Those are some of the things that I'm generally going to be looking at. More products into the market, more capacity building, more improvement in terms of the station of the African markets. Okay, great. And I think those are very lovely initiatives there. And uh, But I would like to sort of like look back, take you a step back before you were president. Yes. And I looked at some of the mandate that was there, yeah. was to make African exchanges appear as one for the sake yes. of collective bargaining and collective collaborations with, you know, like-minded initiatives or, you know, investors so that they can yeah. look at Africa as one. Yeah. I'm not sure how, how far we have gone with that and, you know, have we attained this yet? 
Yeah, I think we have actually made a uh, significant progress mm -hmm. uh, by launching the Africa Linkages Exchange Program because that exchange, that program basically mm -hmm. uh, is to link all the markets in Africa. And yeah. so far, we have linked seven markets in Africa. All right. To an extent that any investor somewhere else can get into any African market and trade stock in any of the seven markets. Okay. That's a that's a that's a big achievement. All right. Uh, this project was actually thought of over many years but it was successfully launched last year, December, okay. in, in Abidjan. Successfully okay. launched. And therefore, that is the project that I'm saying we are now getting into phase two. The All aim right. is to just have one uh, type of uh, uh, structure where investors can simply foot orders to other markets without necessarily opening multiple accounts as yeah. investors in, 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 in various countries. Yeah. So I think it's, a, it's, it's such a huge achievement. And the other thing which has also been happening is that the harmonization of uh, 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 trading rules and, and, and listing rules across market. Yeah. They are sort of uh, at, at the same level. Mm -hmm. uh, we have made uh, store exchanges to share knowledge yeah. with each, each other. Mm -hmm. to benchmark with each other mm -hmm. so that the level of development of the capital market yeah. is roughly at the same level in, 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 in Africa. So that when we are in Kenya, you know that you are dealing with a, a Nigerian store exchange or Botswana store exchange. Yeah. You know that the credibility and the market integrity yeah. is generally the same. Wow, lovely. And, you know, it would be so amazing to know how different exchanges in different countries, what are some of the players in between and how they affect that. But that's a conversation for another day. In yeah. fact, you've touched on my second question, which was about the launch that you did yeah. on the linkages. My question to you now as the president, yes. you have said you managed to get to seven yeah. and now you are the president. Are you hoping to get them all together in your term? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think the idea is to, uh, in my two uh, term as president, to complete phase two. Okay. Phase two, we probably want to add another seven yeah. to make them 15. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, we, are, we are talking with our partners like uh, our African Development Bank yeah. uh, in order to facilitate the process of onboarding additional stock exchanges in the next few months, actually. Okay. Okay. And then thereafter, we also need to deal with post-launch issues, which mm -hmm. are much more operational. Okay. And therefore, I think we are on the right track. All right. Let's talk about the state now of the, you know, in general, the African exchanges. Yes. And it is quite evident that the, you know, the IPO market has been a bit on a decline. Yes. Uh, here as well in Kenya, you know, we are looking at that and really pushing for a revamp yes. uh, from the current government and what we can do to have a bit of a more IPOs, you know, coming into the market. Yes. So what are some of your initiatives uh, that you seek to, you know, do as a SEA, you know, to ensure the trend is reversed? And I don't know whether that's the same experience in Botswana. <laughs> yeah, in Botswana it's sort of flat. Uh, but I think from the statistics and from what is actually happening, uh, it's clear we need the support of uh, African governments. Yeah. Uh, it's clear we also need uh, much more development on our side as stock exchanges to make the markets attractive uh, to issuers. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that is where the, the, the pillar of advocacy uh, uh, and lobbying mm -hmm. gets in from our end. Mm -hmm. We intend to go out there uh, to talk to uh, platforms where uh, various African governments meet mm -hmm. in order to advocate for the development of African markets. We have done a study uh, where, which was done by a private company to look at the privatization mm -hmm. uh, in, into African markets. We okay. realized that most African uh, uh, economies, there's still a lot of governance, uh, government prominence. Yeah. Privatization has not actually taken off. Mm -hmm. But uh, due to uh, uh, the results of that study, mm -hmm. we are using them to lobby some of the, the, the African governments to speed up the privatization, mm -hmm. which will result in the, in the, in the, uh, in the increase in the IPOs in, in, in Africa. And also, I think one other thing is that, you know, the, also the onus is on us yeah. as uh, individual stock exchanges or as collective stock exchanges to develop the structure of our market to such a level that, you know, when issuers want to issue, mm -hmm. they will not go to Europe or outside uh, Africa to issue shares. Yeah. They will look at Africa because they are also based in Africa to issue. Uh, to issue securities. And therefore, those mm -hmm. developments should be happening all across the uh, individual African markets in terms of raising the structure of the market. All right, quite optimistic there. We take a short break in this conversation. We're speaking to Tapelo Tseole, the CEO at Botswana Stocks Exchange and also the new president of the African Securities uh, Association. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the Trading Bell Show, and we are speaking to Tapelo Tseole, the CEO of the Botswana Stock Exchange and also the new president of the African Securities Exchange Association, speaking and really optimistic about Africa as a whole and how the exchanges can be part and parcel of just the global investment landscape. Uh, you know, as we were speaking about the IPOs, I can't wait to really think about the direction in which the globe is taking. And we have seen a lot of conversations when it comes to matters, you know, climate and all that. Mm -hmm. And the exchanges are a platform that can as well be movers of this particular direction. And we are talking about matters, environment and the likes. So how can then African exchanges, from your view, play a much larger role in enabling the continent attract funding for climate related investments? Yeah, I think this is uh, one of the things that we are doing in the product development side of mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. uh, of the stock exchanges in Africa. Uh, a number of stock exchanges in Africa are members of United Nations Sustainable Stock Exchange Initiative. Yes, uh, we advocate for sustainable finance through finance initiatives, mm -hmm. and therefore all these uh, 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 fourteen stock exchanges actually take part uh, in that respect. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a there's a there's a there's also some initiatives in terms of issuing green bond yeah. uh, in, in a number of exchanges in mm -hmm. West Africa, in East Africa, and also in the SADC region. Mm -hmm. This has been uh, in, the, in the upward de uh, uh, development uh, trend. Yeah. The other aspect is that, I mean, in the Southern Africa region, we've actually developed a framework of issuing green bond. Yeah. Uh, we have got a regional framework mm -hmm. where, and we've done actually a demand study to look at where are the opportunities in terms of the deals mm -hmm. which are actually happening. And also within the, the African Stock Exchange itself, we've got a task force, which is a subcommittee that is dedicated to sustainability. Mm -hmm. It looks at sustainability issues in the, in the stock exchange in Africa. Mm -hmm. It identifies uh, potential opportunities yeah. which are there in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the continent for stock exchange to take advantage of. And it also looked at uh, uh, development of rules and regulations mm -hmm. for, uh, among stock exchanges in terms of sustainability mm -hmm. and your ESG uh, uh, models and then your, your regulations against sustainable products and sustainable finance. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think we are doing quite a lot mm -hmm. and we are actually in the right track because a number of exchanges in Africa have actually facilitated a development of green finance products mm -hmm. and have attracted capital in this respect. Okay. You know, just this is off the cuff because I'm, I'm concerned personally uh, as an investor here locally. And you're seated as well and you have mentioned that in Botswana as well, there's uh, some flat, yes. you know, sort of sentiment when you look at uh, IPUs and all that. Yes. Every time uh, our market gets sometimes affected by capital flight yes. by foreign investors, sometimes because they are quite a large number in terms of percentage here. Yeah. I'm sure that's the same thing uh, across yes. uh, your exchange. How can we, from where you sit, avoid situations where when foreigners get better markets in their countries, yeah. we are not as affected so that we can have a lot of local investors ourselves and stabilize this particular market. Do you have an opinion on that? Yeah, uh, this issue borders on the issue of the Africa Leakages project. Okay that there are a lot of opportunities in Africa uh, in which Africans or African stock exchanges or African investors mm -hmm. can leverage on the African exchange linkages project mm -hmm. to develop a lot of intra-trade within African markets. Okay. So that when a lot of uh, foreign investors leave, mm -hmm. we can develop or retain a lot of African trade, mm -hmm. which still have a lot of potential that have not been uh, exploited. Yeah. Uh, and also financial inclusion uh, uh, is, plays a very important role. Yeah. Uh, a lot of African markets, and it's also a, 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 some of the key performance things we are trying to do in Asia, yeah. you need to broaden the investor base, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the respective countries, to really educate people yeah. about stock market, mm -hmm. be it at young age, be it at, at, at matured age, to participate in the in the stock market. Yeah. And therefore, the opportunity is that there's a lot of capital that is trapped in various African countries mm -hmm. that is not actually fluid within, within uh, other African markets. And right. therefore, that is where we need to be really uh, working hard in order to to, to develop this uh, 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 market. Certainly. You've just mentioned about how we can broaden our scope. And I've just, uh, you know, remembered that we have the African continent of free trade area. Yes. And I'm sure you must have a message on how ASEA members can support this implementation because, you know, you stand to gain as well. 
Yeah, I think uh, 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 these are one of the issues that we have actually been discussing. That, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the interconnectivity of the African market is actually the, a typical example of the Africa free trade yeah. uh, 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 principle. Wow. I mean, all what we are saying is that we need investors in Africa to be trading stocks in other markets. Mm -hmm. And this needs to be easier. I don't need to be going to, to, to f trying to find out uh, 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 where can I buy shares in Lagos? How, what do I need to do? When I'm in Nairobi, I just go to my local broker mm -hmm. and then I want I tell them I want to buy this particular company mm -hmm. either in Morocco or e Egypt or in Botswana. And then the, the broker sitting in an office in Nairobi will just route their orders yeah. to Botswana. Yeah. Uh, just with that. So it's a typical example of the Africa free trade initiative which we are we are going to be working so hard to try to partner with them in order to develop the, 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 the initiative further wow that's great and so to my final question for you today and this is just purely putting you on the spot yeah. here locally we are we are sort of battling how to address especially the young population and Africa is regarded as young because of the demographic that we have yeah. And one of the ways is how do we endear the exchange as uh, an avenue where they could consider to start as early as they can. Yeah. Of course, there are many competing forces where we are saying yeah. people are feeling like, oh, I can diversify to other places yes. and the likes. So I'd like you to address that as one, how we can talk to the young generation or in Africa. That's number one. Yeah. And then number two as well, I wanted you to address the issue of exchanges within themselves, diversifying their portfolios so that we're only not relying on the IPUs and the likes, but yeah. develop many other products. I'm sure that's something in your entry. Yes. How would you address those two things? Yeah, I think the, 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 the issue of attracting, uh, especially the young one, uh, lies much more in terms of the, 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 the stage at which the world is. Okay. They are technically, technologically uh, advanced people. They believe in technology. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think uh, we need to develop platforms where it can, uh, we can make it easier for them to reach the market. Yeah. Be able to reach the market at the click of the button from their phones mm -hmm. and be able to do that seamlessly. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Information dissemination, mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, data is very important. Absolutely. The young generation consume a, a lot of data. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we, be, we should be able to make sure or ensure that a lot of data reaches them. Mm -hmm. And that also comes to the second question. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, the plain vanilla IPO and buy and hold for a very long time mm -hmm. uh, is, is, is also losing the, 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 the taste. It's not of as time. exciting. It's not exciting. <laughs> yes. We need to be developing products that are, that are, that are, that are able to, to, mm -hmm. to attract the level of investors yeah. into, into the market. Yeah. I mean, and also we have competing products uh, that, are, that, that, that the engine and you know, even some investors mm -hmm. invest in this product. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as exchanges, we need to try as much as possible to develop products yeah. beyond the IPOs, uh, companies, mm -hmm. and also try as much as possible to disseminate a lot of information mm -hmm. and do market development mm -hmm. outside our traditional store exchange uh, uh, product. Because mm -hmm. I think in the, f in the next few years, it will actually be very difficult mm -hmm. uh, to get as many IPOs as, it's already difficult yeah. to get as many IPOs as, as we used to. And sure. therefore, this yeah. is where product development and diversify the portfolio comes in. Okay. Yeah. Your part in short, especially a message to, you know, your members. I'd like you to just give them your, your, your presidential message, if I may say that to them, and uh, maybe just touch on the capital stakeholders in the continent as well. Yeah, uh, I think uh, we, are, we are going to start on a good note as, 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 uh, as, a, as a new, as a new, as a new XCOM. Yeah. Uh, we, we have hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we, one of the things that we want to really give members is the value proposition for their membership in belonging to African Securities Exchange Association Yeah. Uh, in terms of uh, 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 their members. And therefore, they need to feel that, you know, it's important to belong to this organization. Mm -hmm. And therefore, delivery of the existing projects and the new projects that are planned mm -hmm. uh, 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 is, is crucial. It's very critically important. And also even to the stakeholders, you know, there's a lot of potential 
that mm. needs to be exploited in the African continent, mm -hmm. especially in the stock exchange uh, uh, landscape. Yeah. And therefore, that's what we plan to do, yeah. uh, to deliver uh, 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 the, the, the improvements mm -hmm. in developing the, 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 the integrity and the market of level of development of African stock exchanges to a level where it can actually be attractive, yeah. it can actually be uh, 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 good for a, a number of stakeholders who are in the African continent to be taking out the opportunities that are there in the African continent. Great. Thank you so much for your time. But of course, I have to put you on the spot again. I might come into Botswana soon enough now that yes. the president is yes. here with me. You, you have to come to Botswana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. That's Tapelo Tseole, the new president of the African Securities Exchange Association and the CEO of the Botswana Stocks Exchange, giving us a very optimistic outlook on how this association is going to be. And we wish him all the best. Right now, we take a look at Markets 101. There you have it. Let's take a look at the historical fact for this week. And let's take a look at how the markets perform. That's it right here on the Trading Bell Show. Great conversation with Tapelo Tseole, the president of the African Securities Association and also the Botswana Stocks Exchange CEO. Now, in the African spirit, I want to leave you with a proverb that says that if you are not patient, you cannot make beer. And I want to elaborate that in my own context and say that if you're not patient enough to invest, you'll not be able to reap the fruits that come with it. So my call to action to you is this. Take advantage of what you see. Take advantage of the portfolios that you can invest on right here at the exchange and they're quite a number and so that at least you can enjoy the fruits that come with it after the long run that's it from here my name is Maina Shege see you next time same time same place on the show bye bye